Meta and Google are using recession fears to clean house. Google and Meta have been under pressure for about a year now. Google stock is down 30% and Meta down 60% in the past year. The United States economy is teetering on the brink of recession. And corporate ad spending is plummeting. Google and Meta are more at risk than most people think. And because of that, practically everyone is now waiting for the other shoe to drop regarding layoffs. We cover this topic closely on this channel. That is because this is the subject of the most widely viewed videos on this channel. This video continues our coverage of the wave of layoffs sweeping the United States. What does it mean for big tech companies? What does it mean for the economy? And, what does it mean for the future of the United States? But, before we get into all of that, please press the like button and leave us a comment below. We would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos when they are released. For over 20 years running, elite big tech companies like Google and Meta were the hiring like there was no tomorrow. They had corporate cultures stunning and luxurious perks and general overabundance. But now, the United States economy is teetering on the brink of recession. Inflation is raging. The Federal Reserve is aggressively raising interest rates in order to fight runaway inflation. The macroeconomic environment is deteriorating quickly. The war in Ukraine is causing economic problems all over the world. Marketers are cutting their ad budgets. And ads are the lifeblood of revenue for Google and Meta. The chickens have finally come home to roost. The work culture of big tech is now being forced to change in ways that never existed before. Google and Meta have both slowed hiring dramatically. The stunning perks, such as employee travel and laundry services, have been cut way back. Practically everyone is predicting deeper employment cuts are ahead. Wall Street analysts are saying that the United States is headed into a white-collar recession. That means it is a recession in employment growth, income and job security for so-called professional workers. Actually, it is not just happening in tech companies, it is happening in other industries where they're highly skilled employees. The external macroeconomic pressures are definitely a negative force. But, tech giants like Google and Meta are basically using this as an excuse to clean house. Google has over 150,000 employees. But its stock is down 27% since the start of the year. Meta has about 80,000 employees. Meta stock is down over 50% in the past year. Shareholder pressure is mounting on both companies just as the United States is entering a recession and corporate ad spending is in decline. That is a cocktail for disaster. Management at both Google and Meta are seeing this as an opportunity to reset Wall Street expectations. The general economic conditions and threats of layoffs are pressuring employees to work harder or be fired. At companies like Facebook and Google, for the longest time expenses were unlimited said one Meta executive who spoke condition of anonymity for fear of professional repercussions. There was a lot of fat in the organizations. The party is over, he said. Actually, executive are not the only ones who think big tech giants have become too bloated. Many rank and file employees agree with the cuts. Ahead of the 2020 presidential primary elections, Google and Facebook employees donated the most to candidates like Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders who wanted to break up big tech, said a report from Recode Analytics. Making these companies smaller could return them to their more scrappy and productive early startup days, continued the report. Google and Facebook are still very profitable companies with extremely large market capitalizations. Yearly revenue at Google and Meta is almost equivalent to the entire GDP of some countries. Smaller tech companies might not be able to carry huge payrolls through the economic downturn like Google and Meta. Wall Street is clearly pressuring both Google and Meta to make big expense and employee cuts to be financially responsible and rejuvenate their share prices. Meta shares have dropped about 60% in the past 12 months. Alphabet is down by 30% in the past 12 months with most of that decline coming in 2022. Both Google and Facebook management have fired warning shots across the bow of the employees still working at both companies. Googlers need to be more entrepreneurial and work with greater urgency, sharper focus, and more hunger than we've shown on sunnier days, said Google CEO Sundar Pichai in a memo to employees. I think some of you might decide that this place isn't for you, and that self-selection is okay with me. Realistically, there are probably a bunch of people at the company who shouldn't be here, Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg told employees in a memo. Employees of both Google and Meta are sensing that their job security is no longer so secure. 
At the end of the day we still have it so much better than other people, continued the employee. Up until now, if a Google employee was unhappy in their job, they could just go get a new job offer from either Meta or Apple. Now practically all tech companies have slowed or stopped hiring. There's definitely a sense of, wait, there may not be a chair at another tech company if the music stops here, said one Google employee. The dynamics of the tech industry have basically turned upside down. Employees used to have the upper hand over their employers. Not so anymore. This is probably the most significant turn of events in the tech sector has seen since the dot-com bust NITHE early 2000s. Google and Meta have blamed placed blame on numerous factors for their stock price declines. Raging inflation, the war in Ukraine, changes to Apple privacy settings, and competition from TikTok. But implementing these unpopular decisions is easier said than done. You cannot just demand that employees work harder and it magically happens. Some Google employees blame executives for reducing productivity by not giving teams clearer focus. There is that fear that people aren't working hard enough, but what I see is a lot of people working hard with unclear business priorities, said a Google employee. Maybe they're not making the best business decisions, but they don't know that, continued the employee. For example, Google cannot seem to figure out whether it wants to prioritize its hardware products. Google seemed to be moving forward with developing its next Pixelbook laptop product until it cancelled the latest planned release and disbanded the team working on it earlier this month, The Verge reported. Google laid off 100 Google Cloud workers earlier this year. The layoffs happened despite the fact that the unprofitable Google Cloud is growing its revenue quickly. Google is now shifting its focus to artificial intelligence. Meta is focusing on being the world leader in virtual reality headsets and developing the metaverse. Meta is saying that it plans to cut 10% of overall expenses. Other observers have warned that too much cost-cutting could backfire on Google and Meta. Ideas and innovation are important and employees under pressure might not deliver under the circumstances. Creativity is a huge factor in what made both Google and Meta great in the first place. But, what do you think? Please leave us a comment below and hit the like button. We would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos when they are released. Please share this video on social media. Thank you for watching.